Carnival in Venice is both elegant and mysterious. It's the highlight of the year for Horst Rack and Jochen Schlüter. Sieht gut aus. In their hotel room, the couple make sure their fragile costumes survive the trip unharmed. They hope to win the official costume competition again this year. Raak designed the costumes and then spent hours making them. I think it's the most beautiful one you've ever made for me. Is this toll? The main theme for me this year was the children of light. And that's why I used a lot of lights, including fiber optic lights. It all starts in the small town of Enger in northwestern Germany. It often takes years for an idea to become a finished design. Would you wear that for me? Welcome to our castle room. Looks like something out of the 18th century, but it's also my studio. The judges in Venice award points for creative design, extensive detail and craftsmanship. I'm a creative person by nature, and I'm at my best when I'm doing this. I have to express all this creativity. It just comes pouring out. The two of them first took part in the Venice competition 10 years ago and won first place. They've taken the top spot another four times since then. Rack is a goldsmith by profession. He designs and makes the costumes in his spare time. I put one in every corner. It's the Venice Carnival, after all. He pays close attention to the fabrics and other materials. The plastic placemat is turned into a headdress. The whole thing should look like a Marie Antoinette hairstyle, but made of glass. I bought some of the materials at hardware stores and discount stores. Simple stuff, really. I think it's great that the whole product, from design to completion, is done by one person. Fabulous. And I enjoy wearing these costumes because they're so beautiful. Back in Venice, the couple are just about to make their first public appearance with their new costumes. I'm excited, and I'm curious to see what sort of reaction we get, and if we can move around okay. The very first door presents a bit of a challenge. And it's not easy to walk around on the city streets. Jochen's costume weighs around 10 kilos, but the first reactions seem positive. We're quite pleased, but it's tough to get through alleys, upstairs and across bridges. The headdress is pretty heavy. But now we know where the problems are and we can fix them. They arrive at St. Mark's Square. This is where the costume competition will take place. There are positive reactions from the crowd. Perfect! <laughs> the costumes are so elaborate and so carefully put together. Uh, and so many people seem to be involved in it. it, it just uh, I've never seen anything like it anywhere else. It's amazing. They are so cool, it's amazing, like a superstar. But the highlight of the evening will come after sunset, when Horst Trag's costumes really come into their own. And it seems they stand a good chance of winning the competition again this year.